Hi, everyone, and welcome to the series on getting creative ideas out of your DAW. With this series, you'll gather a bunch of tips and tricks that you can use in your compositions and productions to spice them up and help you get new ideas. This will go through audio recording and editing techniques, MIDI and virtual instrument ideas to try, vocal manipulation and editing techniques, as well as mixing effects that you can try. So without further ado, let's jump into the first idea, which is how you can turn a drum beat into a bass part. And therefore the two will lock together very nicely. You might find that you've got this awesome groove, but you can't think of a bass line that can go over it. Well, here's one way of doing it that'll help you spur on some ideas. So I've got this drum beat over here, So it's pretty simple. It's just this MIDI part here with a kick, snare, and hats part. Now on this track over here, I've added a bass instrument. Now to convert the drum part to a MIDI part, just take the region on the drums and copy it across to the bass instrument. But this is actually really gonna be very busy for the bass part. What works quite nice is to keep the kick and snare MIDI notes and remove the hi-hats. So you've got these MIDI notes here. Let me just zoom up so you can see them. So there you go, there's the MIDI notes. Now let's move all the MIDI notes to one MIDI note range. I'll select these and move them down to C1. You've got all these bass notes that are accentuating same hits that are within the groove pattern. Now this C1 note is very low. I'm gonna select all those notes and shift them up an octave. So we've got the C over here. And also what I've got down here is a simple Rhodes piano part. Let me play it for you. So it's playing a C, then a D, and then an A minor. So let's see how we can complement this with the bass part and the drums. So let's take this bass part and follow the chord progression. Then here is the D, so I'll move that up to D. And then this last bit is all on the notes of A. So now we've got a bass part that's locking together with the drums, but it's following the same notes as the chord progression. Here we go. Yeah, that's sounding good but there's some little changes that you can do to really make this part shine. Those notes obviously are the same note duration as the drums, but they're a bit short. So I'm gonna select them all and extend them. Now, there's a great feature in Logic that allows you to take the end of your notes and tie them to the beginning of the next notes. And this is just called the force legato. I've assigned this to a key command. If you're using another DAW, Check if you can do the same function in yours, where it takes the end of the notes and extends them to the start of the next note. So I've got all my notes here, and I hit that key command and it extends all the ends to the beginning of the other notes. So now you've got this. And just to make some extra interest, Let's move some notes around. So we've got a slight decrease in notes going from here, from the C down to the A, then up to the D. And then maybe do some octave jumps with the notes somewhere else along the bass progression. So you can spend some time tweaking these just to add some extra interest to your bass line. 
Now taking a listen. Now obviously I've got the drums muted, so let's pull this back so you can hear those drums and how they lock with the bass and then how the bass is following the chords in the chord progression. So that's how you can build up a bass part using the drums that you've already programmed in. You take the drums, copy them across to a bass instrument, get rid of any extra notes that might be too busy for the bass part, and then start getting the bass part to follow any other chord progressions in your song. Or you could even just move the notes around to form your own new chord progression. And after this, you can go in and start adding extra instrumentation to your song. But I just thought it's a great way to show you how you can take your beats and convert them to bass to really get the ideas going.